Okay, I was gonna do a quick uh, update after unpacking my Verbal CM Mongoose CM2 throttle, my T50 throttle with the version 2 desk mounts and the Warbird uh, gimbal. Uh, I'm just gonna answer some questions that I was looking for, but I didn't find anyone answering them. Um, so I was a bit scared about the fact that there has been discussions about uh, that these uh, new four-way switches with push were gated, so it would only be the eight-way switch that would be ungated, moving in all directions. But that's not true. At least if I, I can move this one all the way around, all corners, up, down, left, right, click. And it's the same for all of these, as you can see, it's not gated. Left, right, push. I was also a bit scared that they might feel a bit flimsy. They don't. I really like the feeling of them. And that you would accidentally press the push button. Doesn't feel like it, maybe you could. And it's the same for this one, uh, the T50 throttle. It's um, all these are kind of, as you can see, four-way, up, down, forward, backward, and push. But I can move them in, so in the not gated. Same, one, same for this one, I can move it like this. Up, down, forward, backward, push. And the push feels good. Um, same with this one. Over here, I can push it to the sides. And they have these walls that weren't on the old ones, so um, you still get the feeling that you can do it like this, back, forth, and push. So that's really nice. Um, I also didn't know about the length of the USB cables. For both of this, these it's uh, 2 meters, which is great. And um, I was also a bit concerned after listening to one of the videos that the uh, trigger here change sound here. Um, I think it was new before this video said that when you have your hand in it feels like you have already kind of clasped your hand. I don't feel like it's that way. You see when I'm having my hand here it's that's where it is. Very nice clicky feeling. I can have the finger all over and click with kind of the link here or I can have it like this and press with my finger. The flip down trigger uh, <laughs> Not sure I'm going to use it that much. It's just one click when you push it. The nice thing, which I didn't see in any videos, is the fact that you don't have to do like this to push it up and down. Because on the other side, I don't know if you're going to see this one. There is, you see this over here. Is so that you can flip it up with this one. So this one here, I can use to kind of push it up and down. But one thing, the only gripe I have is actually that when I flip this one down, see when I have my finger here, it's kind of on the back side of this, I have big hands, big fingers. So I don't know, I'm not going to have it down, I guess I'm going to have it push it down for something, rockets or whatever, and then just push it and then push it up. Because having it down at the same time, having my finger on the trigger, at least with my hands, it's not going to work. So, and this one, over on the side, that one is just forward, backward, and push, not up and down. And I think that's good. The overall feeling of the grip, which people also say, is that it has a very nice industrial plastic feeling. I completely agree. It doesn't have the useless rubberized feeling of the Model J40, which kind of gets a bit sticky after a while. Uh, not nice. This one, as you can see, has a very nice kind of industrial grade plastic feeling. Feels very, very nice. Naturally, metal would have been nice, but I'm not really sure. I think this one is great. Yeah, that's kind of the questions I had, and the, the one here, I was also thinking a bit what, are, what will it feel when having your hand like this with the the new one sticking out here. And I realize when I have my thumb here, it kind of rests well. 
I can feel that one with the, the edge of my finger. Not annoying at all, and I can actually use it like this, that I can have it there. Where I can just push my thumb back and, and do it like that. But when I'm having my hand just like this, there is a small ledge here. Where I can have my thumb, it feels very comfortable. Fits my hand perfectly, I have really big hands, kind of 12 size gloves, big one you can have. So I have this one pulled all the way down. One thing I didn't know is the fact that you get another smaller one in the package. I don't know where I put it. It's over here. So, this one, as you can see, you get one of these as well. Probably for the ones with smaller hands, they're going to have this one and don't want it extruding too far to be able to reach this one. Probably. I don't know. Not going to use it. But overall, the thing with the feeling of going from the middle, it's not at all that is completely limp in the middle, there is a nice movement friction in a way, but it is perfect in the way, just you see it doing circles like this. Mm. I was a bit scared that it was going to be like the old CH with you know this direction and this direction, and then when you push this direction, you get kind of double friction and flipping back. But it's completely smooth in circles. Not completely realistic, I would say, having flown quite a bit of uh, old aircraft myself. But then you can switch the cam so it gets stiff in one direction, which is kind of more realistic. Or in most cases, kind of the ailerons are, are uh, easier when you're on the ground. And then the uh, the elevator is a bit, a bit heavier. But then in the air you can go the other way, but whatever. So having a stick that is perfect in this way it's maybe not completely realistic, but you can change that one, and I really wanted one which is completely in this way. And then I can change it. So overall, very nice.